the 8th race field 2004 Breeders' Crown Final, and they're off and pacing the two-year-olds. Roddy's Bags again was on a break and distanced Village Jolt and Pierce quickly set sail for the lead. Shanghai Phil comes away in the pocket. 11 a.m. lines up in third. There's a big gate rush for Speed Demon to land well away in fourth. All-American Inc. is fifth. Philosopher King Roughgated snatched up in sixth. Donovan Day is seventh. Penn Cartwright is off stride. The distance trailer Roddy's Bags again. Village Jolt leads it at the quarter. 27 seconds flat. That's Village Jolt. Shanghai Phil. Lachance is moving early. Shanghai Phil looked to the outside. Village Jolt is carrying him around that turn. Shanghai Phil tucks back in and Village Jolt paces on with the lead in the second quarter of the Breeders' Crown. Right there on the inside third is 11 a.m. Staying in from fourth with Speed Demon. Here comes All-American Inca. First over from fifth and he's on the move. Gapped off him is Philosopher King. Then Dawn of a New Day and the distance trailers are Pan Cartwright and Roddy's bags again. All-American Inca powering up on Village Jolt. 57 seconds was the half. We've had the inquiry sign posted during conduct of this Breeders' Crown final. Hold all tickets after it's over. Now less than three-eighths of the mile to go. Village Joel looking strong on the lead. All-American Inca. First over bid a long while. Shanghai Phil has had a pocket ride a long time, but is gapped off by two. Uh, up on the outside, gapped in fourth is Philosopher King. 11 a.m. On the inside is fifth. And then it's back to Dawn of a New Day and Speed Demon. Roddy's Bags again was out of it early with Pan Cartwright. And Village Jolt is moving away on All-American Inca and Shanghai Phil. 124 and 4. Village Jolt. Village Jolt and Ron Pierce. Just a romping away winner in the Breeders' Crown. Coming on for second, Shanghai Phil. All-American Inca. Shanghai Phil could not get second. All-American Inca held the place. But they weren't going to catch Village Jolt. 151 and 1. Just missing a Breeders' Crown record by a fifth of a second. The inquiry sign posted by the judges during conduct of the Woodbine eighth race. The judges have stated there are two inquiries in the eighth, into the start and into the stretch drive. Please hold all tickets from the eighth. The inquiry sign posted and the judges ruling, two separate inquiries are in progress, into the start and into the stretch drive. On the infield giant screen and TV monitors is the inquiry tape into the start.
Query sign still posted into the stretch drive concerning three All American Inca. Here's the first ruling into the start. All in the field did receive a fair start. Inquiry sign still posted into the stretch drive concerning three All American Inca. Nine Village Jolt is back to the Woodbine infield winner circle from the Breeders' Crown. Cam's Kartshark two year old Bay Colt from Village Jingle. Owned by Jeffrey Snyder of New York, Arlene and Jewel Siegel of New Hope, Pennsylvania. Bred by Village Acres of Brampton and Wellwood Stables of Cambridge. Trained by Ed Hart. Driven by Ron Pierce. When posted official will be his sixth in ten this year. 151 and 1, life's mark, village jolt to capture the Breeders' Crown with the presentations Tom Crouch and Barry Hewson. Tom Crouch of Kentucky Auto Farms on behalf of the Hamiltonian Society. Barry Hewson, Director of Racing on the Standard Red Circuit at Woodbine and Mohawk for Woodbine Entertainment, making the Winner Circle presentations to the Breeders Crown, two-year-old Colt Pays champion, Village Jolt. From the inquiry, no violations in the stretch by three All-American Inca. Results now posted as official. Village Jolt 1580 for the victory. 9-3-2 try.